us a spirit that makes us afraid. He gives us a spirit of power and of love and of self-control. And you know what? I think this is incredibly timely, incredibly important during COVID because God doesn't want us to be afraid. He wants us to be wise, but he does not want us to be afraid because God didn't give us that kind of spirit. He gave us the spirit of power and of love and of self-control. And uh, let's think about the sun. Most of us draw the sun as a really beautiful, big yellow sun. And certainly it is. Uh, and you can even draw a smiley face in there. That's a lot of fun. But the sun is something that gives warmth to our faces and it feels really good. Well, the sun isn't really very friendly, especially if you talk to some older folks. They've gotten uh, cancer because they've sat, in, sat out in the sun too long. And did you know that the sun is really just a great ball, giant, giant ball, we're gonna talk about that in a minute, of flames. That's all it is, just a big, giant ball of flames. Ah! The temperature of the, sur of the sun's core is 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Guys, most of us get warm after 70, 80, 90, maybe 100, okay? We're talking 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Wow! Okay? And the sun is ginormously huge. Um, if the sun were the size of a golf ball, I mean, if the earth were the size of a golf ball, so like, let's say that big, okay, that big, the sun would be the size of an elephant. Oh, that's amazing. That is just amazing. Did you know, let's look at Psalm 33, 6. Psalm 33, 6 says, By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, the starry host, by the breath of his mouth. So God breathed. And these things came into being. Amazing. Amazing. So that's uh, what our God is for us. God has that same, God has even more power than the sun. Because God's the one that made the sun. So he is ferocious in his power. And God gives his power to us. Isn't that amazing? When you are tired and you're trying to do the right thing, and you're tired of maybe doing the right thing, getting nowhere and thinking, ah, I'm doing good to be a good person, to do the right thing. Or when your words make you afraid to take a step, maybe even about COVID. You don't have to be afraid. Or when you feel attacked by troubles too big to handle on your own. Don't be scared. Be bold. Be brave. Call out to God in prayer and ask him. For his power, he is going to answer you. God, guys, I just wanted to let you know, I took a really big test this week. And I had to go to Roanoke and take the test. And I had to pull up my pants legs. And I had to pull up my sleeves. They wanted to make sure I wasn't cheating. They had to look at my glasses, make sure I hadn't written anything on my glasses. I have no idea how you can do that. But in case you're thinking of trying. But so anyway... I did all that. Oh, and I had to show them I had nothing in my pockets. And I would studied a long time, about five weeks for this test. And I, 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 I had a piece. And it wasn't a piece that came from me. It was a piece that only came from the Lord. And I know that because I wasn't nervous when I was taking it. And um, it's a test I had to take for education. Um, to continue to be a great school teacher because that's what I really love. And God really helped me. I really felt his power and his peace and his presence. And those were things that God gave to me. And those are things that God gives to you. Okay? He is on your side. He is more ferociously on your side than anybody else, even than your parents or grandparents or teachers. Or your brothers or your sisters, you might never think they're on your side. But they are. They are. Something bad happened to you, they, they'd be there. Um, so I hope you never look at the sun the same way again. Did you know that if the sun were a school bus... No, wait. Hold on. I got that wrong. 
you could fit close to one million ball, uh, one million Earths inside the sun. We know how big Earth is. Well, the sun is like a million times bigger. That's uh, mind boggling. Think of filling an entire school bus with golf balls. Okay, that's how big the sun is. Huge compared school bus, elephant compared to a golf ball. Pretty amazing. Wow. Okay. Well, I would like to have a prayer with you, and I just want to say thank you so much for joining me. Um, I really, really miss all of you guys, especially those of you I, I don't ever get to see. And that's just kind of the way it is right now. But we don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be scared. We can be bold for Jesus. Okay, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for these precious children. Thank you that you love each and every one. And thank you that, um, that your power is ferocious, that you do want us to have your power inside of us. All we have to do is ask Jesus into our hearts. And we have that power, God. And it is amazing. It is nothing like the world can give. And we just thank you so much. Pray that you would be with each one of these boys and girls and they would know your strength and your power. And we pray um, especially for Elijah having surgery this week. And we lift him up to you, God. Um, and we just thank you so much for who you are. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye. Can't wait to see you again next week.